My, my favorite episode is when Jake has puppies. Um, and yeah, and, and then the, the fox comes in and says that he's got a book that he can eat babies. That's my favorite one. I don't know why, but it's just so funny. I love it. My favorite episode, I'm not in it, but the one where it's called Box Prince, and Finn goes to a land that's just filled with boxes and cats, and that's my ultimate dream. That's awesome. Yeah, or and hope the, the Orgalorg episode continues to uh, delight and mystify. <laughs> I like the episode, one of the very early one ones when uh, it's trouble in Lumpy Space, and me and Jake both get the lumps because we just got to do Lumpy Space impressions, which was awesome. Oh my god, we kind of set my ball, Jack. Ha! Ah, Fun. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I guess telling stories and uh, escapism and yeah. stuff like that is always is a, is always good for kids if it engenders, uh, you know, imaginative, uh, you know, imaginative flights of fancy. But I, I think Adventure Time also, uh, you know, traffics in deeper themes that I think. I think it. I think it goes deeper than most sitcoms and other shows that kids watch. So I think there's uh, emotional resonances there that are uh, that, that are actually quite useful. Yeah, I mean, just the themes overall of Adventure Time really do hit home. I've had a girl come up to me and say the Simon Marceline relationship helped her deal with her father who had Alzheimer's and stuff like that so I've gotten that a couple times from it Drew. has such these light-hearted moments that you can relate to but it gets sad <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>